In this video, we're gonna look at how you can link your digital file, which is stored online in one of your chosen services. We're gonna show you how to link that to your opt-in form or even your thank you page so the user can click to download that form now or download your PDF. So I've got two pages here. I've got my landing page up and I've got my thank you page. Now you can, there's obviously different ways you might want to create your thank you page. You might not want to have, you know, the download button. You might want to have um, a confirmation page after someone opts in, telling them to confirm their email. You know, you might not want to have the download button here. You might want to have a text link. You might want to send them an email with a link to download and there's not actually, you know, a page with the, the link um, or the download link on it. For this example, I've created a page and I'm gonna be linking to my page. Um, it doesn't really matter as long as you know where the file is stored and you've got the link to the download or the PDF, whatever you choose after that is fine, as long as you've got the correct link. So what I've done, I'm gonna show you the process I'm using here. So if I go to, this is my thank you page. I want to copy this URL at the top here. I'm gonna copy this because I wanna use this inside my land um, my landing page opt-in form so i'm going back here i'm going to open up my live editor and i'm going to link up the opt-in form that i've created and this here is the overlay optimizer if i click on that and here's my opt-in form i'm going to open that up now my opt-in form is connected to active campaign here and it's on my list called downloads and inside the opt-in form, we have here a field called thank you page URL. So inside here, I'm going to put in my link to my thank you page. So what happens is after someone subscribes through the opt-in form, they're gonna be sent to this thank you page here. So I'll click insert, then I click update, then I click save and close. So now I know this opt-in form, when someone opts in here, they're gonna be sent straight over to my thank you page, which is here. Now in my thank you page, I want to link up the button so that they'll be taken to the PDF to make it so they can go and download it inside uh, from this page. So if I open up the live editor, and I'm gonna simply go down to the button here open up the button, scroll down, and here we have this option for the link. So I'm gonna open up my notepad that I've been saving my links on, and from here you could choose whatever one you've created, any of the ones that you've already created, if you created a WordPress or you put it in Google Drive, Dropbox, or S3, this is where you want to put that link to link up the button. So for my example, I'll choose this, um, first one I've done here with WordPress, so I'll just copy that and I'll paste it here. Okay, so it's pasted inside here. And I'm also going to choose this option called open in a new window, just so it opens up the PDF file in a new window in case someone was come back to here, you know, and wanted to share this page as well. So this is that thank you page and I've linked up the button and what will happen now if I click save and close and refresh, I click on this, I'm gonna open up a new window or, or it will open up a new window like so and inside there, there's the PDF. And from here, someone could download it um, by clicking the arrow on the right. You know, this, I've got Evernote installed, it's offered me to save it to PDF um, or they'll be prompted, they could um, save that file. So they've got that file available to download. So you can see there what happens is they opt in here, they get taken to this page, and from here, click on the button, and they're, they've gone inside my folder, or the file path is inside my WordPress site. There's the URL that we took, and here's the file. Again, this is inside um, Chrome. Other browsers might prompt them to download this file first so they can save it and store it somewhere on their local computer. Now let's say we wanted to use a different service. I will just test another one. If I just open up the button here and I'll change the link down the bottom, we'll just try, let's just pick this one here for Google Drive. 
Again, I just replace that link, save and close, refresh the page. And if I click on this now, same thing's gonna happen. It's gonna open up a new window. And I'm already logged into my account, but if someone wasn't logged into their account, they would end up seeing the same page I'm seeing here. And with this download arrow there, so they could download it. But there's the file. So that's the file stored online. And the same thing would work for all the other um, services that we use with the Dropbox and Amazon S3.